Hello Comet Sports fans and welcome to Beyond the Buzzer. I'm Aiden Crowley and welcome to March, my favorite time of the year and for two reasons. One, we got March Madness in college basketball and two, we got state tournaments in high school basketball and it's just a great time for basketball in general. Uh, and it was a jam-packed time for Comet basketball. Uh, two games for the girls and one game for the guys and then we'll head in to the big picture for both teams later on. But before we get into the basketball part of the segment, the girls swimming team won state runner up and coach Mark Sullivan won coach of the year at the state of Ohio. Great effort from those girls getting state runner up once again. That brings us to the first tournament game for the girls team playing Amelia who beat Mount Healthy and it was just an obliteration of Amelia. 71-17, to 17, a 54-point win for the Comets, where in the second quarter, the Comets had 12 points, and Amelia did not score in that quarter. Uh, I mean, when you win by 54, there's a lot of stuff you can point out. Just a quick wrap-up. Samari so Mowbray had 23 Huge performance from her without Sammy Poises in the lineup due to injury. And Anna Berkman had 12 rebounds. In general, the Comets had 41 rebounds to Amelia's 22. And Amelia turned the ball over 29 times to, to the Comets' 13. Overall, just a great confidence boost for the Comets in their first tournament game against Amelia. 54 point win. It was crazy game. 71 to 17. And that brings us to Tuesday, the 28th, where the girls team took on Turpin. And to me, it looked like the girls team, they looked over Turpin in a way. Um, as in the first quarter, it was 12 to 4 in Turpin's favor. And it was just, it, it was ugly for the first couple, first two quarters. By the end of the third quarter, the Comets started to gain momentum and shrink it to a one-point game, and it went down to the wire. It was a crazy game. Uh, Comets got the win, 37-34. to The Comets didn't take their first lead until 1 minute and 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. So Turpin was in the driver's seat almost the whole game, um, and... It was just a crazy game, like I said. Samari Mowbray had 13 once again. She stepped up big, and Tiana Fulton also had 13. Uh, Anna Berkman continued to be a rebounding machine. Uh, 13 rebounds in this performance. Eight of them were offensive rebounds. Great performance from all those players, and great job by the Comets getting the win, 37-34 against a good Turpin team. Now, since they got that win, the girls will play March the 4th against Ursuline, and the Comets will have to step up their gameplay if they're going to want to beat Ursuline, who is a good team and could potentially beat uh, the Comets. But a thing to highlight, Sammy Puisis will be back in the lineup for that game, uh, so big impact from her. We're looking forward to get the win. Um, March 4th. The next day, the boys basketball team took on St. X in their first tournament game as well. St. X just got off a win against Lakota West, and it was a similar story to Turpin for the most part, except that the Comets were able to regain a halftime lead of 32-29. to Some big performances for the Comets was Matt King had 17 points, and off the bench, no penalty had 10. Matt King was one rebound away from a double-double with nine rebounds to that night. Carlos Lewis also had eight points and six rebounds. It was an overall shaky performance from the Comets. But again, like I said, tournament time can just get crazy. And every team sees that they're playing Mason and they want to go out and beat Mason. So you can't take any game for granted if you're the Comets. And they went out and just played a great game St. X did. Comets almost let it slip away, slip away in a little bit in the first quarter, but they were able to regroup at halftime 
and win the game 59-49. to um, After they won that game, the Comets will now take on a familiar opponent, Lakota East, and they're a good team. They're only two seeds below the Comets at number six. Um, the last time we played them, it was 59-44, to but a thing to keep in mind was Lakota East's starting point guard was hurt in that game. Uh, Coach Richard said at, after the game against St. X that a seed that two seeds below you wanted to jump into your bracket, and that should say that they want a piece of you. And he said, well, all that says is be careful what you wish for. So big game uh, Saturday. They actually, the girls and the guys play the same day, the 4th. Um, guys play at East in a big tournament game. Only two seats below them, Lakota East. It should be a great game. Hopefully the Comets will be able to play a little bit better in that game and get the win. These tournaments are going to be crazy. These couple games will be close, and hopefully we can advance even further. But we'll just have to wait and see. For now, this has been Beyond the Buzzer, and from my man behind the camera, you stay zesty, Comet Country. Went out and just played a great game, St. X did. Oh, wait, put your weapon! I mean you no harm! And just played a great game, St. X did. Looking? Found someone you have, I would say, hmm? You seek Yoda. <laughs>